Hello, ladies and gentle thems. Welcome to everyone's favorite laboratory game show, Crash, Crash or Pass. Let's go to our studio audience for a lovely participant. Do we have any volunteers? I'll do it. Come on down. Back to another oh god <laughs> welcome back to another episode of adams and bonds my name is adam rosenzweig and this is the show where i a real life scientist conduct a science experiment with the help of an absolutely fabulous lab partner today i have the incredible pleasure of being joined by one of my favorites miss electra oh my gosh thank you so much for having thank me thank you for I'm, being here oh, i'm so excited to be here this is gonna be so fun i am a stupid girl so i'm excited to feel even stupider yes <laughs> stupid and funny that's what we are all about here these days it's 2022 and we don't have the time <laughs> Truly. So, Ms. Electra, what experience do you have with chemistry, science in general, anything STEM? Where are you coming from? In undergrad, I was a chemistry and biology major, double, because I thought I was going to be a, a biochemist. Mm -hmm. But then, um, as you can see now, it clearly worked out for me. How much do you think you remember from those early days? So, considering that I majored in drinking games and minored in sleeping with straight men, probably nothing. <laughs> All right, well... We'll see what we can get out of you today. <laughs> Truly. <laughs> All right, so let me let me tell you what we'll be doing here today. Let me walk you through my process a little bit. Okay. So your name is Electrolyte. I was like thinking Electrolyte, Electrolyte. Well, an Electrolyte is just like a charged species dissolved in like water. And I thought that we would play a little game. So I made one up. Um, and we're calling it Crash or Pass. And it's going to be a little game where we play with solubility rules. Okay. So solubility rules are a, a general set of rules in chemistry that can dictate and predict if an ionic species will remain in a water-based solution or if it will crash out and form a solid. Okay. Yeah. So um, why that is, is because every, every ionic compound, and when I say that I just mean like a salt, like mm -hmm. you literally think of just like table salt, um, are, they're a magnetic pair. So there's two ions in, e in every compound. So you have a positively charged ion called a cation, that's the positive one, and then a negatively charged ion, which is the anion. <laughs> okay. And so those are a pair and they stick together. Some of them um, are perfectly just can be perfectly dissolved in water and you get this like lovely clear thing. And that is because the individual ions like they have a nice affinity to the water so they'll float around. Um, but in other combinations, uh, the ions would rather just stay next to each other. And so that's when they all line up right next to each other like files in a filing cabinet and they yeah. form a solid and then they crash out and it'll make the solution all cloudy. Love that, close friend groups. So how Crash or Pass is gonna work is we, you have five solutions in front of you. Yes, I do. I have five solutions in front of me. So I will read you the solubility rules mm -hmm. and then we will have five rounds where we each will take a solution, we will read what that solution is and then I will ask you to make a prediction if when we mix our solutions together, of if the resulting compound will crash out and form a solid, or if it will stay liquid, which will be pass. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> and of course, each round you'll have a lifeline in which um, you can have me read any of the rules that you, that you request. Um, but other than that, we're just gonna mix them together and see what happens. Okay, let's do so it. So let's play Crash Gosh, or Pass! pass. <laughs> If we want to play, we got to know the rules. Absolutely, let's rattle off these rules. So we're going to read some rules. <clears throat> All right, these are the solubility rules. All right, salts containing group one elements, such as lithium, sodium, potassium, cesium, are soluble. There are a few exceptions. Salts containing the ammonium ion are also soluble. Salts containing nitrate ion are generally soluble. Salts containing chlorine, bromine, or iodine are generally soluble. Most silver salts are insoluble. Uh, silver nitrate and silver acetate are common soluble salts of silver. Most sulfate salts are soluble. Important exceptions in include calcium sulfate, barium sulfate, lead sulfate, silver sulfate, and strontium sulfate. Most hydroxide salts are only slightly soluble. Most sulfides of transition metals are highly insoluble. Uh, carbonates are frequently insoluble. Chromates are frequently insoluble. Phosphates are frequently insoluble. And fluorides are frequently insoluble. Okay, 
Those are the rules. I completely understood and retained every word of that. We're gonna get ready to play. But before we play, we need to get safe. Oh my god, is it fashion time? Are we putting on fashions? It's time for the fashions. Oh my god, let's put on fashions. Let's do fashions. <laughs> Oh my god, look at the fashion! <laughs> the fashion? Oh In the words of Peppermint, is it fashion? Now that we are safe, now that we know the rules, we are ready to play. Absolutely, let's get into it. Alright, crash or pass, round one. Okay. Alright, pick up your first vial, labeled number one. Mm. What do you have? Tell us what you got. I have silver nitrate. Alright, I have sodium chloride. I think it's gonna crash. Okay. I'm going crash. That's your final answer? Final answer, locked in. Round one, we are locking in a crash, all right? All right, <laughs> let's get into it. Three, two, two one. one. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> it's a crash! <laughs> yes, bitch! Okay, <laughs> that is a point for Miss Electra. Honey, we got us a crash. Ooh, Ooh that looks familiar. <laughs> <laughs> what? I drink a glass of milk every day. Y'all get your minds out the gutter. Yeah. <laughs> All Sorry, right. I got strong bones and you got a dirty mind. What we got here is we put in um, we put in sodium chloride and silver nitrate. We made a solution of silver chloride and sodium nitrate. And what we got here is some solid silver chloride. Mm. Mm. Round two. All right. Two numero dos. What do you got for us? I have potassium sulfate. I have disodium phosphate. Ooh. You want to lock in a guess or you want me to read you a rule? Um, yeah, can I get a rule? All right, most sulfate salts are soluble. I'm gonna go pass. You're gonna lock in a pass? I'm gonna lock in a pass, final guess. All right, let's find and out. And it truly is a guess. <laughs> <laughs> All right, three, three two, two, one. Ah! <laughs> She's two for two! Yes, girl! I'm not gonna say that I'm great at gambling. All right, so we had our uh, disodium phosphate and potassium sulfate, and we made sodium sulfate and potassium phosphate, both of which are soluble. Oh my god, I love it. I love winning. Two for two. Oh, I love winning. <laughs> I mean, like, I'm not competitive at all, but I love winning. <laughs> Round three. Select your vial. What do you have for okay. us? <laughs> Questionable, iron chloride. Iron chloride. I have sodium hydroxide. What do you think is gonna happen? Would you like me to read a rule? No. I'm gonna say crash. Are you sure? I'm gonna lock it in. You know, I like to live on the edge. Let's lock, <laughs> let's lock it in, honey. All right. Let me see. Round three. Three, three two, two, one. I don't know what that means. That is a crash. Yeah! <laughs> It's iron, so it's kind of murky, but that is in fact a crash. All right, we put in sodium hydroxide and iron chloride, and we got iron hydroxide and sodium chloride, and it's got chunky monkey right up in there. You can see it on the sides. Oh yeah. That's the chunk. Mm-hmm. All right. You're like literally three for three. I love this. Wow. <laughs> I'm like thoroughly impressed. Round four. Um, we have copper sulfate. Okay, I have sodium carbonate. Would you like a rule? Yeah. Okay. Uh, carbonates are frequently insoluble, though there are some exceptions. Oh, she's a crash, mama. I'm locking it in. It's a crash. Final guess. Here we go. Three, two, one. Hey! Wait, did I do it? Did I get it? That is a crash! <laughs> if it's not like crystal clear, then that's a crash. And okay. it's a particularly beautiful crash. It that looks like my favorite flavor of Kool-Aid, Tropical Island, or Tropical Breeze. Wow, that, that was black as hell. <laughs> I was having a black ass moment. <laughs> that's, how, that's how you know you black America. You're in a lab playing Crash or Pass, and the first thing you think is, you know what, that looks like Kool-Aid from my childhood. I didn't want to say it. I didn't want to say it. Adam's like, I don't know if I should contribute to this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, come back. We have oh, to get yeah. the white balance again. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Okie dokie. So we had sodium carbonate and copper sulfate, and we made copper carbonate and sodium sulfate, and uh, copper carbonate is a crash. Final round. Final round. We're in the Thunderdome. We're in the Thunderdome. You're four for four. Can we make it five for five? I, I think we can. Mm-hmm. 
All right, let's get these vials. Let's, let's get, get going. these vials. Alrighty, what do you have for us? I have silver nitrate. Mm, once again. And I have ammonium acetate. Would you like a rule, or would you like to guess? Well, it's the last round, and my reputation is up on the line, so mm -hmm. I'm going to play it safe. Can I, like... Can I use my lifeline? Mm-hmm. All right, I'll give you a rule. Most silver salts are insoluble, but there might be some exceptions. I was going to say, it's know. last round, and it said most. Operative word. I'm going to say pass. I'm going to lock it in as pass. All right, let's find out. Oh, God. Final round. Three, two, one. Oh. Oh. Electrolyte is the champion of Crasher Pass. <laughs> If only I was this good at Tinder. <laughs> <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Oh my god, that was so much fun. You did so well. Like, oh my god, you literally got all of them right. Oh my god. Okay, well, I don't really have words because I didn't expect that you would do that well, but I'm so pleased that you did. For the inaugural game of Crash or Pass, we have a new freaking 10 out of 10, 5 out of 5 champion. Oh my god, just call me the BB Zahara Benet of Pass or Pass. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for having me. I'm so like, much fun. I absolutely adore you. I, I adore you too, baby. <laughs> um, if you are in New York and you do have the opportunity to go see an Electrolyte show, I would so strongly suggest you do. You are such an incredible performer, an incredible dancer. I believe I've heard you sing before, and it was actually yeah. quite very good. <laughs> Thank so, you. like, literally, and also you're funny too. Uh, I so, try. like, if you if you have the chance, go find her at a bar. Go give her all your dollars. Thank you so much for having me and like having this really cool, like, unthought of crossroads of science and drag queens. This is truly so much fun, and I'm fi I'm so happy I finally got to oh. get up into the lab and get up into the gig with you. Thank you so much. This is truly the musings of a grad student who loves drag, who doesn't get out to drag shows enough. So I was like... Bring the drag to you. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Um, all right, well, thank you all so much for watching another episode of Adams and Bond. Uh, I will be leaving all of your social medias in the description below. Absolutely. Tell us where we can find you out in the world and what those are. Um, you can find me on all social media platforms. That's Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, Grubhub, blackpeoplemeet.com, JDate. I love a man in a yarmulke. And all of those have the same username. That's electrolyte underscore. E-L-E-K-T-R-A-L-I-T-E -E underscore. Yes, I'll leave all of those uh, in the description below. Also, Cash App down there as well. Yes, absolutely. All right, we're going to throw the Cash App in there. You should use it because in this lab, we tip our queens. Period. You can also follow me and us and Adams and Bonds at a whole bunch of different uh, social medias. You can... A, subscribe to this channel on YouTube. You can B, follow us on Instagram at Adams and Bonds. In the uh, description of that Instagram, you will find our link tree, which has links to all of our other social media accounts. Additionally, in the link tree, if you are a drag performer, if you are a king, if you are a queen, if you are non-binary royalty, and you would like to be on Adams and Bonds, there's a form that you can fill out to be on this show, and we would love to have you. So please go find that form there. And I think that's everything else I got. Absolutely. And so we will see you next time. We'll see you next time, kids. Yes. Oh my gosh. Visually. And that's on period. And that's Audic on. table. <laughs> oh. I'll, I'll see myself out now. <laughs>